Yo, what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic, and we've landed here in Goldfield Ghost Town in the shadows of the Superstition Mountains in the wild, wild west. We're here in Arizona, and today we're taking you on an off-road Jeep tour of the Sonoran Desert, and later on, throwing down the ultimate wild rabbit cook all over live fire. I promise, you don't wanna miss this. Let's go. I'm so dang excited to be back out here, you man. This is absolutely beautiful. We're in the Suaro Cactus Forest. We have the Superstition Mountains all around us. There cannot be a more beautiful place on earth. And uh, thank you so much for inviting us, man. This is awesome. Absolutely, glad to have you back. Tell us a little bit about this place. This is, there's a lot of history here, first yeah. of all, but I know you and Cloth and Flame and Open Venues are doing a lot of work to preserve these types of locations. But tell yeah. us a little bit about where we're at on earth right here right now this sure. is this is amazing yeah so we're in the superstition mountains of course as you mentioned and this is a quarter circle u ranch um it's a third generation biodynamic cattle ranch that uh is the only private property in the superstitions we're deep in the mountains here near the peralta trailhead and and uh yeah we partner with the property to uh make it available for events and culinary experiences that we're doing today um, and it's been a super fun ride. Well, and that's how we met. You guys host at Cloth and Flame some of the most inspirational outdoor open fire events anywhere in the world. You do it right here, but you have another 30 locations or so across the West where uh, folks out there, whether it's a sponsored event or it's a private event per se, you guys are hosting at these absolutely breathtaking locations. And certainly this one has to be a crown jewel, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our, our feeling is that people only care about things that they're experiencing up close and personal and we want to create as many of those experiences as possible so we have yeah 30 different sites around the western united states all the way from northern california through arizona this is our home base we have a lot here and uh, nevada utah and uh, everything from masonic lodges on mountaintops to historic ranches to you name it you know beautiful historic buildings all of this and we just want to collect as many as we can and create passive events, mostly culinary events, yeah, right. uh, in those spaces to, to uh, keep these these properties as is for generations to come. It's amazing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, this is, uh, this is a former Western movie set? Yeah, I forgot that part. Yeah, this, so this was a movie set uh, in the 1960s. Everyone from the likes of, you know, John Wayne and, and otherwise have filmed out here. They'd build a Western town and they'd burn it back down and very similar, live fire all the time. It's it, We're just pull, we're pulling That's it right. back now. Yeah, so uh, it was a Western movie set and now we use that empty space uh, without changing it further to, to create events. John Wayne, Live Fire Republic, Clint Eastwood, all the all the stars, right? I'm <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, well, need, this is awesome. List. Thank you so much for having us out here. Uh, we have a cook that we've got to get to, so it's about time that we get the fires lit. Thank you for letting uh, for hosting us and letting us be out here today. I'm so excited about that, and I know you have like two dozen events for the rest of the day that you've got to take care of. So uh, I know here is where we part ways, uh, but we've got to, we've got to get our fires going, man. So excited to see what you create, man. See you, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And there's no way we're cooking on a grill that clean. Time to dirty this bad boy up. Now 
Now we're here in the Southwest and that means one thing. We're cooking with mesquite wood. It's everywhere you look here in the Superstition Mountains. It's beautiful. It has a rich, hard, smoky flavor. Some would say too intense for wild game, but the high, hot, fast nature of our cook today with this rabbit, this wood is perfect. All right, we've got about 15 minutes for that charcoal to ash over and those embers to be ready to cook. Now today, we're going high heat, lots of it, and we're doing wild rabbit with a mezcal orange agave glaze all over live fire. Let's get started. Now we're starting today with wild rabbit. It's locally harvested. It's prized for its beautiful, rich flavors. It's only slightly gamey, a bit sweet and nutty. It's exactly what you look for in a protein just like this. Now, we're gonna season the rabbit simply today with avocado oil, kosher salt, black peppercorn, chipotle pepper, paprika cumin, and plenty of garlic. It's the type of recipe to me that says Arizona. Now for our cook today, there's three primary tools to be used. Of course, a grill, two, a butcher cleaver, and three, skewer swords. Check this out. All right, we're gonna use the chef's cleaver to roughly portion out the rabbit into four different components. We have the hindquarters, the abdomen, the upper chest, and the front legs. Here's how it works. Work right through those tough bones in the back of the animal, portion off, set aside. Next, abdomen, same. Chest, make sure the bottom legs are out. Now we have four equal parts to the rabbit, each a little bit different in terms of their texture. We're gonna use the cleaver to now split these in half and they'll go onto the skewer. All right, just working our way on through. And again, the goal here is removing out that spine. There's a million different ways that we can work around that spine in a cook like this. Butterflying it out as we did, starting by portioning into four separate components, then going after and taking out the spine. To me, this works just as well. All right, rabbit now into the bowl. We're gonna get this bad boy seasoned up. And as mentioned before, we're using an array of different spices and seasonings, all to me, which are representative of this area and the indigenous that call this place home. Now, I like going with the salt and pepper first. It allows me to control, I think, better the salinity before we go in with our seasonings, our spices, and our herbs. Today, we're using the chipotle powder, a sweet paprika. We already have enough smokiness as it is, with the mesquite and the chipotle. Next in, cumin for a little bit of that beautiful southwestern earthiness. And we're then gonna finish it up with our garlic. Now we like to use a roasted granulated garlic. This is a garlicky type of powder we're popping on top here. To me, it's the perfect finish for a seasoning mix just like this. Now, we just mix up the rabbit. Let's get these spices very evenly distributed across the rabbit. We're gonna then let this rabbit sit for about 20 minutes, just absorb those spices. You could certainly take the rabbit, place it in the refrigerator, let it marinate for a two to four hours up to overnight. The longer you let this rabbit marinate, more deeply that spice mixture is gonna get integrated into this protein. Since we're out here in the middle of the desert and we only have so much sunlight, this is what it is. Now, there's not a lot of art and science to using skewers. There's one hard and fast rule though, don't stab yourself. <laughs> Until then, we're just going in rough. Just take this meat, we're gonna line it up over the swords, let it pop right through, nice and easy. All portions of the rabbit going directly onto the skewer. Here's a really nice thigh uh, and leg piece. There we go, just get it run right through. Portion up, get it wrapped around. All 
rabbit's gonna need about six to eight minutes per side. We wanna pull this up to 165 degrees, which is a super important temperature to keep your eyes and mind on. We need to eliminate any bacteria that could be present in that game. Getting up to 165 on the grill is gonna make that happen. Now we're gonna cook entirely with the grill lid open, searing and rotating intermittently to make sure that we have well, good caramelized Maillard reaction that's taking place across the surface of that rabbit. Using these skewers is a great way for us to accomplish very simple turns intermittently on this cook. While the rabbit sears away, <clears throat> cast iron time, down on the grill grates. One key for you when you're preparing sauces in a cook like this, get the cast iron on early. Make sure it's well heated by the time any cold or room temperature liquids go into the pan. All right, I get it asked all the time, how do I know when the protein's ready to flip? Whether it's chicken, it's turkey, it's pork, or it's wild game just like this, I'll show you a trick. Now, if I just temper the skewer here, you can see how as I lift up, the rabbit in all components still sticks to the grill grate. When we get a really nice bit of caramelization in crust on the bottom side of that rabbit, it's simply going to lift off the grate on its own. It's easy and breezy. Now there's nothing to me that says the Southwest like Mezcal. There's five different components to a Mezcal that I think make it really unique. This is a clear spirit, this Nosotros Mezcal, but it has a unique pininess with additional citrusness, more than you would probably find in a traditional Mezcal. There's an apricot type of flavor that hits my palate, and I know everyone's palate's a little bit different. There's a pininess and an earthiness to this Mezcal that I think is phenomenal, but it's prized for its smokiness and it's perfect for a sauce we're doing today with wild game. Olive oil in. Orange. Agave syrup. A little hit, a hot sauce. Mezcal. The zest and juice of one lemon. And we'll finish with a little bit of seasoning, just some salt and pepper. Now we're gonna whisk this together and just do it simply. We just have a wooden spoon. What we're really looking to do is just emulsify together those fats, those sweets, the lemon and the alcohol together. A really simple, super fragrant, beautiful sauce. Now, because we're in the final moments of cooking here, we're just gonna drop this sauce directly atop the rabbit in all parts. Now, what we're doing here is just starting to build a really beautiful caramelized coverage of base across the rabbit. We'll let it close up, turn, and intermittently base as this rabbit finishes. gonna get all the way down into the bottom of the pan because that is where all the brown bits and goodness really sit in this cast iron dish. This rabbit is literally within seconds of finishing up. This is what we're looking for. If you've loved this episode as much as we've loved taking you on the adventure, do a couple things for me. Smash that subscribe, hit the like, drop us a comment down below. And if you love the wild, wild west as much as us, let us know about your very favorite outdoor adventure. Until then, send some love over to our friends at Apache Trail Tours, Matt and friends at Cloth and Flame, Primo Ceramic Grills, and for all these recipes and more, get at us at livefirerepublic.com. Until then, time for talk is over. Let's eat. my friends, is live fire rabbit on the Primo Ceramic Grill.
That was absolutely amazing. You have this incredible sweet nuttiness, very limited gaminess, first of all, very limited gaminess. I think it's that cumin, you get in there, that chili and the paprika, it totally just mitigates the entirety of the gaminess of that rabbit. It's absolutely amazing. And you have that mezcal, orange and agave. It's sweet and it's amazing because that mezcal, even though we burned off the alcohol, it totally comes through at the end. So you have this amazing bit of charcoaly essence that you naturally get by cooking on the Primo. You have the rabbit that is just absolutely clean, fresh and delicious. It's hit with those caramelized flavors on the extra. You get those sear marks, it's just amazing. And to finish it off with that sauce, my friends, it doesn't get any better than this. This has been Live Fire Rabbit with Mezcal Agave Orange Sauce, all over Live Fire. Stay hungry. We yeeted probably the best looking piece of rabbit on there. Yeah, Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're uh, Until then, do a couple things for me. Oh, I already said that. Until then, Jeep tour of the Sonoran Desert and later, oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, one more time. Um, okay, so...